So Jennings County is very um, picturesque. It's a great place to come and visit uh, if you want to just get away and go to a park and go to Muscatatuck and fish or kayak, but very rural and has with it challenges just because of the nature of our county. One of those challenges for Superintendent Teresa Brown and others at Jennings County School Corporation is the unmet need for reliable and affordable internet access. Since 2016, all JCSC students, nearly 4,000 in total, have been issued an electronic device that accesses the internet and classroom materials. This works well in the schools, but when schools are closed, that's not always the case. Obviously, whenever there were snow days, weather-related days, um, that sort of thing, we had a building that was shut down for the flu last year. So, you know, whenever those things happened that our kids would be home, 30% of our kids did not have access to the internet. So we were always making those accommodations, and we could do that easily when we were talking, you know, a couple of days at a time. When COVID-19 hit Jennings County and the rest of the world in the spring of 2020, classrooms went from this to this. Administrators, teachers, and IT professionals quickly realized that short-term solutions were no longer going to work. It's when we had this extended time period that we really had to figure out solutions. They couldn't talk to their teachers or see their friends or have any kind of uh, communication really outside of a phone call. Hundreds of cellular hotspots were issued, but those were prohibitively expensive and didn't work for all families. That's when Superintendent Brown issued a mandate. Drop everything else, we've got to figure this out. Nothing was off the table for us. They definitely got creative. So, you know, we thought about, you know, sending it home on a USB stick. We actually had an idea where we were going to uh, use water towers to uh, create our own Wi-Fi network and bounce signals off water towers. And, it was during this period of brainstorming that the folks at JCSC were introduced to data casting. Basically what we're able to do through data casting is send data over our broadcast television airwaves directly to a computer. I had never heard of data casting before, but you know, of course, you know, I, I got on Google, started searching, and yeah, this, this is a technology that's been around for, for quite some time. The first responders have been using it. So it takes the television part completely out of this. And I think one of the misunderstandings about data casting is that uh, it goes to your television. No, it's really intended to go to the device, in this instance, that the student is using uh, to consume classroom content. It's also not the internet, but for rural Jennings County, it seemed like the right fit. The barrier, of course, at that point was just equipment, resources, funding. We didn't know how we would make that happen. We just knew that that was a possible solution. So, JCSC partnered with Indiana Public Broadcasting Stations and applied for a grant. When that was awarded, they began working directly with WTIU, their local member station, and Spectra Rep, a leading provider of data casting solutions, on implementation. It's often an honor to be the first, but there are challenges that come with being the first. So WTIU was the first station in Indiana to be stood up with this educational data casting capability. And WTIU stepped up and put together a, a, a wonderful protocol so we could understand exactly where the signal goes, how well it was received, and just the extent of, of, of the signal. Beyond that, they've been great partners in helping us just figure out processes so that it reaches the largest number of kids, students, families. It hasn't always been an easy process. We're 50 miles away from Bloomington, uh, where the, uh, the TV signal was coming from. We've been told that if we can get this to work in Jennings County, we can get it to work anywhere. And in the spring of 2021, Nearly a year after schools were turned upside down, they had it working and broke new ground in the process. And so to think that, yeah, one of our students in Jennings County was the first one that had it set up and ready to go uh, for the country. You know, that's, that's, that's special, right? Yeah, we're really proud of that. We're part of a, a group of data casting pioneers. The things that we're learning through WTIU's relationship with JCSC and the work we're doing collectively, it has national implications. That's exciting. That started here, in Indiana. That's an awesome thing. Currently, JCSC is issuing hardware in limited numbers, but data casting has become a reality for families in Jennings County. 
and it's going to be available for everyone. It doesn't matter your location. It doesn't matter if you do have internet, if you do have a provider, that this is going to be a solution for all students throughout the county. And thanks to the lessons learned by the folks in Jennings County, at WTIU and elsewhere, a solution for others throughout the state. Right now, we have 15 school districts across our seven other stations uh, that are preparing to stand up data casting. The beauty of data casting is we can get to those kids who are going without right now. It's an equalizer. It's a, it's a, a playing field leveler, and that's a fantastic thing. If there's a big takeaway from the pandemic in general, it's that we have to function together. You know, we're all connected. That's one of the things that data casting really brought us to, is just that sense that we're part of a bigger group. We're all working for our kids.